hello, it's Beth from The Wine Road, and I'd like to welcome you again to our virtual wine and food affair for 2020. We have a couple of videos where we've invited the chefs and the winemakers and the winery owners to talk about the wine that they've featured. So even though you can't be here, you can kind of do the tasty experience right alongside with them. And then when you get your wine or order some wine, you can uh, go back and kind of reflect on how they described it and what you taste in the glass. So we hope that you pour yourself some wine, relax, and enjoy our little video. Thank you. Hey, Kev, what are you doing? Hey, Wynn, I'm just thinking about the virtual food and wine affair. What are you doing? Well, I'm thinking about the virtual food and wine affair, too. Um, you know, we've got that coming up next week. Yeah. So what are you, what are you opening? Uh, we got a 2014 reserve I got out of the cellar. So um, uh, we're Kevin and Wendy from Terrabella Winery. And uh, we started making wine in our garage in 1986. And um, I just got the bug and fell in love with making wine. In uh, 2010, we were fortunate enough to acquire Terrabella Vineyards and Winery. So we're a small Cabernet um, grower. Uh, we only have uh, less than six acres. We only produce about 600 cases a year. This is from a little three acre vineyard and we take it all the way from the bud to the bottle. We don't manipulate in the lab or anything. It's just 100% Cabernet single vineyard. So it's pretty good. Yeah. So what are you making for the uh, event? So you have it on your little card at home. Um, I'm making a simple red sauce because we're simple people. And so um, I like to use pork. I like to brown the pork and mix it. Like sometimes I use fresh tomatoes. Sometimes I use canned tomato sauce. But any way you make it, it is so good with your very complex Cabernet Sauvignon. Thank you. So uh, this is 2014 Reserve. It's uh, less than three acres. Uh, we produce only somewhere between 250 and 300 cases of this wine a year. Uh, this particular vintage, it was right in the middle of the drought. We got some beautiful complexities, some beautiful color out of the wines. Uh, this wine actually won a gold medal and got 96 points for us. So I thought I'd pull this out of the cellar for the event. So uh, anything else to add? Well, you can visit us um, at tarabellawinery.com. It's T-A-R-A, -A, tarabellawinery.com, or call us at 707-544. 9049 and come visit us. Yeah, have a great event. Salute. Cheers. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Tim Borges. I am, along with my lovely wife, Jane Portalupe Borges, uh, the owner and winemaker of Portalupe Winery in Hillsburg, California. And I'm here today to feature one of our wines and talk to you a little bit about it. This is our 2017 Delinsec Ranch Russian River Valley Pinot Noir. It's a very small, just one acre vineyard located right in the heart of the Russian River Appalachian, planted in what we all refer to as world-class Gold Ridge soil, and it's all Dijon clone. So it's very French style, very Burgundian. I'm gonna pour a little bit here. Uh, like I said, it's just a one acre vineyard. So in a good year, I might make 220, 230 cases. So it's a very limited production wine that I age in medium toast, French Francois Ferrer uh, oak barrels. Uh, the result of this wine is a richness that is so far beyond your typical Pinot Noir from the aspect of, you know, great sort of cherry, earth, mushroom, minerality. Here again, that's all part of this great world-class Gold Ridge soil here in Russian River Valley that a lot of us grow Pinot Noir in. Uh, considered, that soil mantle is considered one of the best for Pinot Noir. Uh, of course, we all know the limestone soils of uh, Burgundy, France are equal in, in uh, their, their greatness. So, Pinot Noir, yeah. She is sexy, and I always refer to Pinot Noir as she because she's fickle, but when you get her right, there is no more beautiful and elegant wine on the planet, and it tends to go with cuisine that we as Americans don't typically think about, uh, sort of like wild game bird, you know, crispy quail, breast of pheasant, duck confit. Uh, however, uh, the recipe we're featuring and pairing our Pinot Noir with, this Dell Ranch 17, is smoked salmon burgers, okay? 
Now I should point out that uh, on my property in Healdsburg, I have a walk-in smokehouse. I get fresh salmon in Bodega Bay, fillet it, brine it in the family three generation brine recipe and smoke it in my walk-in smokehouse. I cold smoke it. And then my wife has come up with a beautiful uh, burger recipe that if you go to our website, portaloupiwine.com, uh, you can get the recipe for the burgers. You can also get the recipe for like my brine and smoking process for the salmon. Now, most people, when they think about fish, they typically think white wine with fish, red wine with red meat. Well, Pinot Noir is one of those more versatile varietals. Number one, salmon is not white fish. And especially if you're grilling it or smoking it, it has that same sort of richness of those aforementioned sort of French fowl uh, recipes I mentioned. So, yeah, uh, here it's all coming out right now. Little rhubarb, deep cherry, nice, nice slaty minerality. Mm. Yeah, I've died and gone to heaven. <coughs> so, I. <laughs> I highly recommend that uh, you partake in this very limited, exclusive Pinot Noir uh, from, uh, actually where I'm standing right now, this, this vineyard is just about a mile and a half away from here as the crow flies. Um, Jim Dillensack, who is my grower, has been the steward of this 100 plus year old vineyard uh, for the last quarter century. Uh, the ranch is primarily Old Vine Zinfandel, which I also make off that vineyard, but he planted this uh, Pinot Noir for me about 12 years ago, and it has uh, shown to be one of the top Pinot Noirs in the industry. So uh, we hope you enjoy this wine and the food pairing that I mentioned. And like I said, go on our website. You can get all the info. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jim Rickards, Jim Rickards Winery, and I'm here at the Wine Road Wine and Food Affair presentation. I am uh, pairing our uh, 2019 Sauvignon Croft Sauvignon Blanc with my wife's creation of, of uh, mushroom souffle. This Sauvignon Blanc is what I call the red wine drinker's white wine. And it's because of the fact that it has this long finish, like a red wine does. And it just hangs around with you for a little while. And we're pairing it today with mushroom souffle. Uh, my wife Eliza um, put this together for us. It's a rich, impressive, savory um, uh, souffle, typically in this kind of container. And it will make an excellent, excellent um, first course of holidays. Um, and the wine itself has got enough oomph, enough acidity to really pair up well with this rich, savory um, uh, first round. Um, it, 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 it's really designed to cut through that with the acidity in the body that really keeps it up. Um, the souffle is actually um, really parable with a lot of other wines. In particular, I just love it with our Malbec. In this case, the Sauvignon Blanc is really an extraordinary pairing with it because it meets those requirements to be able to um, uh, uh, counter the richness, that savory richness of the eggs and that beautiful uh, earthy mushroom flavors. Um, that, that is actually what we're trying to accomplish here. And I tell you, these little button mushrooms, common button mushrooms, but I'll tell you what, they add a lot of punch. And it takes only this much, eight ounce um, uh, uh, of, of them for the entire um, uh, preparation and meal. Uh, both for mixing in the souffle itself, but also as garni. Um, our, uh, the, the wine itself 
the grapes speak the role. Um, they actually come from a very unusual vineyard, the Croft Vineyard. And it is an area that's at about a thousand feet of elevation, which is absolutely unusual for Sauvignon Blanc production. It's a kind of place where you wouldn't normally put Sauvignon Blanc. However, at that elevation, at the, at the southern end of the Alexander Valley, it gets all that fog to cool it off. It probably has one of the highest dineural temperature changes of any of of the grape growing regions. Uh, I've been up there when it's been 100 degrees at 4 o'clock and 40 degrees at 6 o'clock because of the fog billowing through that gap where this vineyard is. It creates the best of ripening and the best of hang time for this particular variety. And it's just major, major wine. Oh man. It goes on forever on the palate. It finishes really long. And that's what it's really unique about the vineyard. It has that ripey flavors, but without that grassiness and minerality of, and short finish, I must say, of, of the New Zealand style wines. Um, as a result, it is a really good food pairing wine and goes extraordinarily well with, with things that are rich. Um, in this case, the souffle, just unbelievable. And so really, it's, it, 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 I have this wine with a lot of things I might consider having red wines with. I mean, uh, uh, for red wines. Um, it's, it's my favorite to have with salmon and because of, again, the richness and the finish. It stays and hangs with you for so long. At our winery, we have um, open spaces for tasting um, outside yet, and we offer a full range of our wines for tasting. Um, we're open uh, Wednesday through Saturday, um, closed on Sundays. I need a day off, but um, Wednesday through Saturday, give us a call and you can make a reservation and we'll set you up. Masks are required, however, but we'll happen to serve you out in our uh, uh, picnic area. Um, great place to bring your lunch. And uh, we sell wine by the glass, by the bottle, and of course, tasting. Um, and uh, I'm gonna say, uh, take care. Have a, a great wine and food affair event. Cheers. Hi everybody, I'm Robert Young uh, the second with Robert Young Estate Winery. Um, a little bit about us, uh, my family's been farming the property for seven generations now since 1858. We're located in Alexander Valley on 448 acres, uh, 317 in vineyard. Um, everything sourced from our property, um, so all estate fruit. Uh, what I have today is our 2016 Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, 18 months aged in French oak, 30, 40% new French oak, uh, 92 cab, 8 Malbec. And this would be the lightest cab out of our portfolio. Uh, very easy going, easy to drink, um, more red fruit driven, so think like cherry, raspberry, cranberry notes. Also some cassis, tobacco, lavender, very nice nose, very perfumey. And we decided to pair this with our bourbon bit braised short ribs. So this really has some, like I said, red fruit, uh, subtle tannins that will really, really pair great with the uh, short ribs. So short ribs with the fat there, the nice red fruit and the tannins will help uh, cut through that fat and pair very nicely. Um, but definitely a comfort food. We think that's going to go really well coming up with the holidays, uh, especially the cold, chilly winter nights. If you're interested in the wine, you can go on our website, www.ryew.com or call us 707-431-4811.
Um, we have a beautiful new taste room that overlooks our whole property with 360 degree views. Um, every wine that you'll enjoy, I can point to the vineyard of where that wine comes from, which is very special. So I'd love to host you out there. I'm there every day of the week. Just ask for me and I'll take care of you. Hi, I'm Debbie from Russian River Vineyards and welcome. You know, at the holidays, I'm always looking forward to crab season. And so when we were talking about the wine and food affair, I thought crab cakes and Chardonnay. So we're going to pair our Bacha Calupe 2018 Chardonnay with crab cakes. And unfortunately, I don't have those in front of me, but I have lots of little crabs for you to take a look at. But all through the month of November, we're going to have crab cakes and our Bacha Calupe Chardonnay for you to come on by and taste with us. So to tell you a little bit about our 2018 Bacha Calupe Chardonnay, this is a big, bold, rich, very fruit-driven Chardonnay. Nice aromas of white peach, jasmine, cream brulee. Fruit all the way through the palate. So this is a perfect pairing with that rich succulent crab meat. Put this together, you've got a great pairing. So the Bacigalupe family is right here in Hillsburg, here in the Russian River Valley, and we've been sourcing this fruit for a long time. Our amazing winemaker, Gio Ballesteri, uh, has a long-term commitment with this family. And to tell you a little bit about the grapes that uh, this wonderful wine comes from, in 1976, at the Paris Judgment um, tasting. California won the best white wine, a Chardonnay. Well, this 2018 Bajica Lupe Chardonnay is sourced from those same grafted fruit vines. So enjoy a glass, come on by in the month of November and make a reservation for Russian River Vineyards. Check us out, have some crab cakes and a little Chardonnay. Hi, my name is Sean Beeler. I'm the sales manager for Rockpile Vineyards in Hildesburg, California, uh, where we're bringing wine to new heights. So what I have here today is a 2018 Petite Syrah. It comes out of the Rockpile region, like all the wines we do. Uh, we have an 800 acre, acre ranch up at the top of Rockpile Road. Uh, and this one comes actually from a different vineyard in Rockpile, uh, the Florence Vineyard, owned and operated by Jack Florence Jr. So this is our 2018 Florence Petite Syrah. Has a nice tannic structure, some nice acid, really good fruit. Uh, we'll sell her for yeah, about 10 years or so. We are just releasing this now, so we thought we'd throw it in this uh, mixed case and do a little pairing with you. What we've done today uh, in terms of a pairing, and it's a little game I play every time I say, uh, take a drink. If you're drinking while you're watching this, I say it a lot. You'll have a good time. So what we're pairing this wine with is a butter poached barbecued uh, pork belly. And this is done in butter initially, simmered stove top, Th about 30 minutes flipping it once, removing it, patting it dry, adding uh, the rub, the, uh, the sauce that we give you the uh, directions for. And then you're gonna put it on your grill in direct heat and you're gonna smoke it or grill it indirectly for about uh, two hours. Low and slow is the way I like to do it, about 200 degrees. And personally, I like to use oak, post oak or something as your, as your base wood and then use something like cherry or apple wood to go with it. It's not too strong of a flavor, but if you like mesquite or something, do it. If you don't want to do uh, oak or wood at all, go ahead and use your, your charcoal, your briquettes. We chose the, the Petite Syrah because we really thought that it went well with this smoked pork. It has enough tannins and acid to hold up to the sweetness of the sauce 
and to the fat that you're going to get with uh, inherently with a por pork belly and also with the smoke flavor that you're going to get if you choose to to go that route um, I don't have a whole lot else to say. You're probably going to watch a lot of these videos. Uh, when you're in Healdsburg, come see us. We're uh, on the roundabout in downtown Healdsburg. We, our uh, website is www.rockpilevineyards.com. That's Rockpile Vineyards with an S. And, uh, you know, come check us out. We make great wines and try not to take ourselves too seriously. Hi, I'm Brittany and I am here from West Wines. We're a very tiny winery located in Dry Creek Valley. Katarina, our winemaker, and her husband Banked are here from Sweden and they bring a lot of those European traditions with their winemaking as well. Uh, and you really see that coming through in their Cabernet. Their 2005 Cabernet Sauvignon was actually served at the Nobel Prize Banquet in Stockholm, Sweden. And today we'll be tasting the 2013 Cabernet Sauvignon Reserve. This is such a lovely wine. We grow all of our grapes in Dry Creek Valley on the northern end. Grown on the west and south facing slopes leads for warm, long and sunny days, helping to really uh, get some of those delicious flavors in there. Uh, this was actually our 2013 crop and it was a warm, long growing season, a little bit smaller of a crop than we had expected, but it led to some really beautifully concentrated flavors. Um, coming from this glass, mm, there's some beautiful bright cherry, there's some earthiness and there's some really lovely Mm, some cedar as well um, and I know a lot of this shows through on that palette too so we have a lot of that cherry there's some sage and some laurel that comes through as well along with a little hint of chocolate and uh, coffee as well so we're pairing this with a beef and mushroom slider with a Cabernet sauce created for us by Ken Rocchioli um, the beef and Cabernet are always a wonderful pairing uh, the mushrooms help bring out the earthiness of that cab as well um, and then the uh, Cabernet in that sauce really brings out a lot of the blackberry and cherry from the wine. Uh, if you're interested in more of our Cabernets, we do offer our verticals on our website at westwines.com, dating all the way back to our 2008 as well. Um, so we have those for a 20% discount, and again, that's at westwines.com. Uh, we hope to see you soon in our vineyard. Uh, we are open year-round. We welcome pups and picnics and just anything that you'd like on our patio overlooking our Sauvignon Blanc vines. And we hope to see you soon. Cheers. Hi, I'm Steve Ruud from Ruud Wines. Today I'm here to talk to you about our 2016 Dry Creek Valley Zinfandel, and we're pairing it with our Zinfandel barbecue sauce and pulled pork recipe. Our 2016 Dry Creek Zin is a blend of about 85% Zinfandel and 15% Petite Syrah, all of it's grown on our estate vineyards that my family has been farming in Dry Creek Valley since the mid-50s. We chose to pair this with uh, barbecue sauce and pulled pork. It's a barbecue sauce I created about five years ago to go with our yearly wine club barbecue. It has some nice ancho chili powder in it that pairs really well with our Zinfandel. Our Zinfandel has some great black cherry, black pepper, and it just goes great with a, a wider range of foods, but I tend to like foods a little spicy, and the Zinfandel is great with that. So let me open it up. And as I mentioned, this Zinfandel has some uh, the classic Dry Creek flavor is a blackberry, black pepper, blueberry, a little, and a lot of that really rich, uh, brambly, ripe blackberry flavors. And the pepper and the, and the slight spiciness goes great with barbecue sauce. And it's a really simple recipe to make. Pulled pork, everybody loves it. You can do it in the summer. You can do it in a, on a cold winter's day as well. It just kind of warms you up. And it's always great to have some comfort food and a great glass of Zinfandel. So I hope everybody tries the recipe and enjoys it and that they come out and hopefully visit us one day in the future. And if not, go to ruidvineyards.com and call over the weekend because we'll definitely have some shipping specials going on over the event weekend. And once again, thank you. Hey everybody, Ross Reedy here with Truett Hearst Winery. And uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about the food and wine pairing we prepared for you guys today. So the food is actually a truffle cheesecake 
and the wine is our newly released 2018 uh, Dry Creek Valley Zinfandel Lucy Blend. The uh, meal was actually created by Society Bakery, which is a local bakery in Sebastopol. And I think one of the coolest things about this dish and this pairing is this guy right here. Um, what they ended up doing was actually taking a bottle of our 2018 Zin and making jam out of it. And um, it's absolutely delicious. Uh, it's a plum jam, so it's got these really robust, dark, bold flavors. And I find it really difficult to pair um, non-sweet wines with dessert wines. It's just because it's hard to kind of match the flavor, the big flavors of this. But if you've ever had True at Hearst wines, you know that we are a very robust um, winery and robust flavors. So the profile is very, very similar. It's big, it's dark, it's bold, um, it's smooth. So it stands up to the cheesecake very, very well. Uh, the other cool part about the dish is when this was made, they added a lot of these kind of fall winter spices, you know, clove and, and the stuff that makes you think about pumpkin spice latte and these kind of things. And um, naturally, inherently in Dry Creek Zinfandel, we do get a lot of those similar spice components. So the way that they play off each other and the way that they interact actually makes this a killer, killer combination. You can find the um, recipe on the Wine and Food and Fair website. And if you're able to pick up some of this jam and obviously pick up a bottle of the 2018 Lucy Zinfandel, come by Dry Creek. The tasting room is open and we look forward to seeing you. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Ama and I'm here representing Wilson Winery. If you've never been to Wilson Winery before, it's on Dry Creek Road and we've got one of the best views in the valley. Diane and Ken Wilson bought the property back in the 90s, and it took them about 10 years to really get the tasting room up and running. Since then, we've been known to be a Zinfandel house, but we do a few seasonal white wines and specialty reds. The McLean Primitivo is part of what we call our grower series, just meaning that we don't own the vineyard. This vineyard is located in Alexander Valley and is 96% Primitivo and 4% Petite Syrah. Diane Wilson really loves to blend Petite Syrah in all of her reds. This full-bodied red has aromas of cracked pepper and red fruit. While there are many guidelines for food pairing, the best is to always put the wine in the food. For our signature pairing, we're using our tri-tip that we do every single year. Our signature tri-tip recipe is an easy marinade of red wine, soy sauce, and garlic. Very easy to make from home. This wine will go perfectly with our tri-tip pairing. If you want to log on to our website at wilsonwinery.com, you can grab a couple extra bottles for your pairing at home. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we hope to see you soon. Cheers. Hi. I'm Tim Bodell with Francis Ford Coppola Winery 2, home of Virginia Dare Winery. Today we're talking about this beautiful Chardonnay, our 1587 Chardonnay with the Russian River Valley fruit. It's an absolute delicious wine and uh, perfect for the holiday season. This wine goes really, really well with fish or chicken or certainly turkey around Thanksgiving time. One of my favorite Chardonnays. Um, and the recipe that we uh, designed to pair with this wine today is a pizzetta, with it, which is a basically a small pizza that uh, contains these ingredients here. Uh, some sort of these fall flavors as we're getting into those colder months of the year. Um, we have butternut squash, we have pancetta, and some fresh mozzarella. So we're gonna open up this bottle of wine. Now, now the aroma on this wine, you're gonna get some beautiful tropical fruit. Tropical fruit notes. This wine has been aged in 19, or, uh, I'm sorry, aged in oak for 19 months. So it has that sort of wonderful, sweet uh, tropical fruit flavors. It's a beautiful color. And on the palate, I get really this wonderful pear flavor. And it's just a spectacular wine. It's full bodied, wonderful oak flavor, but it has this really nice. Uh, acidity to it, which for me is just a wonderful wine to pair with food as a chef. 
Now I think this wine is going to pair per perfectly with uh, pancetta in, per uh, in particular. Now pancetta is a cured Italian meat, it's salty, and it's certainly peppery. And then when you roast this butternut squash, a whole lot of this natural sweetness comes out of that. And it all comes together in a wonderful dish, um, pizzetta. It's great for entertaining. Um, now, if you don't have a, a pizza oven, which most of us don't, you can do this pizza in your oven or even on your barbecue at home. Come check us out at the winery. We're open Saturdays and Sundays from 11 to 4. And we're also offering a very special promotion to all of our viewers out there. If you go to our website, thefamilycopola.com, and you enter the coupon code Coppola Wine Road, we'll get a penny shipping on your entire order. We can't wait to see you up there at the winery. Hi, my name is Phyllis Zazunas. I am an owner winemaker for Zazunas Wines. And I was lucky enough to start my career in the wine business in 1980. And I started the brand in 1987 and I'm very honored and humbled to be called a pioneer winemaker, female winemaker in Sonoma County. And I'm thrilled to taste with you. One of my favorite wines is the Zinfandel. And I specialize in Dry Creek Valley, mostly Zinfandels. I love Zinfandel. It's one of the most interesting wines and grapes that you can grow and produce. Uh, I do traditional uh, winemaking, ferment and open top fermenters. Um, but I would like, my favorite thing is to show people how different Zinfandel could be from the some, same area and how different the grapes and the wine could taste from the different clones the different soil, the different exposures of wine. So I brought this 2015 Zinfandel for you and it's from the Shattuck Vineyard in Dry Creek. If you come to see me in the tasting room, you can taste different vineyard designated Zinfandels from Dry Creek and I'd love to show you them. But this one is a, the Shattuck 2015. Very interesting wine. I have my thoughts on how it tastes. What I want you to do is when you open the bottle, you look for what you, you feel you taste. Not everybody has the same taste buds. So please use your own and tell us what you think. For me, this is a very savory wine. This wine is interesting as heck. It's like having a wine that's in your kitchen cabinet with all the spices. It has a delicious spicy nose with a lot of black pepper, but also savory in the fact that it has spices that are green spices in your, in your cabinet, like bay and oregano and marjoram and like that. It makes you want to cook and have some great food with it. Therefore, with this we paired that wonderful beef, carrots, and potato recipe made with a chuck rose. Absolutely wonderful. This, this vineyard is unique in the fact that it has surrounded by eucalyptus and bay trees. And the eucalyptus and bay trees add a little component to the wine. So when you smell it and taste it, there is this earthiness spicy, savory flavors. So please enjoy the wine and enjoy making the recipe. So it's a lot of fun. The intensity of the, the fruit from the wine, the wine has great blackberry, black cherry, and uh, spicy noses. And it enhances, enhances gets enhanced by the flavor of the beef with the combination of the wine, and then the wine gets enhanced by the, all the beef flavors. So enjoy that 
recipe and get a big loaf of French bread and dip it in all those wonderful juices and the meat. So if you like to visit us, our website is www.zazunaswines.com and I have a tasting room in Windsor over on Bell Road. So please come taste other Zins and other wines that I make. Thank you and enjoy the combination. It's very wonderful to taste these wines. Thank you. Good afternoon, my name is Tony Shulo. I'm here representing Segacio Family Vineyards. Today I'd like to share with you our flagship Zinfandel, the Home Ranch Zinfandel from Alexander Valley Vintage 2017. This is the original planting that Eduardo Segacio planted way back in 1895. We still have about a dozen acres of those old, old vines and they are the core of this wine, a little more than 40%. The other Zinfandel vines were planted from cuttings from those older vineyards. So we have a lot of different ages on the vines, plus a little bit of Petite Syrah too, just to round out and firm the tannins for you. It's a beautiful expression of what we do. It's the Zinfandel from Sonoma County. Beautiful dark fruit flavors, rich tannins, lovely long finish. Pairs perfectly with fall food. That's why we have it with a roasted tomato soup and a grilled Gruyere cheese little sandwich on Crostini. It's lovely, rich. The roasting pairs well with the, the tannins of the Zinfandel for when you want some comfort food for this cold fall weather. Once again, salute. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoy this virtual wine and food affair. And someday we'll see you back at our place in Healdsburg. Visit us at sagacio.com. I've got a brand new website for you. Or you can call us at 707 433 3579. Hi there, I'm Catalina. And I'm Jesse. And we're from David Cafaro Winery. And for Wine and Food Affair, we have chosen to feature our 2017 Italian style uh, blend we call Italiano. It is a blend of all estate grown Italian varieties. We've got Sagrantino, Montepulciano, Lagrine, Alianico, and Barbera. On the nose, this wine displays aromas of eucalyptus, tobacco, lots of black fruit. I know this is one of Jesse's favorites. All right, I really do love this wine. There's subtle notes, uh, eucalyptus, tobacco, blackberries, and tell us a little more about the food. We chose to pair the Italiano with this easy yet luscious Italian dish. It's baked manicotti with prosciutto, and we used uh, no-boil lasagna noodles instead of the manicotti shells. Nobody likes to go through the process of stuffing the manicotti shells, so we figured that this was an easier way to prepare the dish. Uh, the dish is layered with a plethora of cheeses, uh, an abundance of uh, fresh herbs and uh, a very tangy and killer tomato sauce. The Italiano is the perfect pairing for the man manicotti because the firm tannins cut through the richness of the dish and the eucalyptus and spice notes marry well with the fresh herbs and tangy tomato sauce. The pairing is definitely worth a try and perfect for your family dinner on Sunday. We wanted to invite you to go to our website, which is www.cafaro.com. That's C-O-F-F-A-R-O. -F -F there you will find this wine, as well as other unique blends and rare varietals. And our wine club members get a 40% discount on all of our wines. So once again, I'm Jesse. And I'm Catalina. And we're with David Cafaro Winery. And we hope you enjoy your time with the Food and Wine Affair. Hello. My name is Scott Covington, and I'm the winemaker for Trioni Vineyards and Winery. It's a small winery just north of the town of Healdsburg. I'm here today to talk about our uh, Russian River Valley Chardonnay. We make many wines, but today I'm, I'm going to talk about the Chardonnay. It's from our ranch just in the center of the Russian River Appalachian. And today we paired it with one of our favorite winery recipes, our Tuscan bean soup. Tuscan bean and sausage soup. Um, this wine, and I'd like to take a moment and just read my notes. Um, I call this bottled poetry, is the description of the 2017 Trioni Chardonnay. Burgundian in style, of both nose and palate, 
Rich and inviting, this wine offers a complex mix of toasty baguette, melted, warm melted brie, silky, but with the structure demonstrating the aging potential. This 2000, 2017 Chardonnay is tasting great now, but it will be awesome over the next five to seven years. And I've just opened this bottle here, and I get lucky enough to taste it. This wine is silky. It's beautiful in the, in the mouth and on the back palate, and it is what pairs well with the, the Tuscan bean soup. The same uh, kind of caramelized onion, uh, rich, creamy texture of the soup matches well with the Chardonnay. So I invite you all to come up to the winery. Um, you can check out our website for the, uh, the recipe for the Tuscan bean soup. We're running a special for the weekend of the wine and food affair. At Trioni, it's one cent shipping on the 2017 Chardonnay and the 2016 Henry's blend, which is our red Bordeaux blend from Alexander Valley. Call or email the winery, the weekend of the wine and food affair, to place your order. Hi, I'm Zena with Woodenhead Winery, and I'm sharing with you today our 2016 Charbonneau, 96 point winner, a rare varietal, there are only 75 acres planted in the whole state of California. And we purchased these grapes from Gary Venturi, who's been farming for many, many years. Hi, I'm Gary Venturi. I'm a third generation grape grower from Mendocino County. Uh, my wife, Kim, and I have been farming for 36 years. I was lucky enough to work 45 years side by side with my dad in the vineyard business. Um, he taught me three important things, work ethic, pride, and respect and I carry those things with me still today even though he's not here. Uh, about approximately about 15 years ago uh, I met Nick and Zena and they started purchasing grapes from my ranch and that has turned into a wonderful beautiful relationship and we love each other dearly. Um, my dad originally when he planted the Charbonne it was originally called Pinot Noir um, and for years and years, he sold it to Myron Nightingale from Behringer Winery as Pinot Noir. And then UC Davis came along and said, no, nah, it's not Pinot Noir, it's a different variety. They called it Charbonneau. So we've been farming for 55 years. Uh, my dad sold it to Myron Nightingale for many, many years, and all that was on a handshake. I'll tell you a little bit about how I raised the grapes. Uh, they're planted in rows eight by eight. I cultivate them one way three times a year. I sell from two to three times a year, uh, depending on the weather. That's basically all the chemicals that I put on them. I water them 24 hours overhead at Verasion. And the one thing about Charbonneau, the old variety that I have, it, it takes, it's not very easy to get a high sugar on it. So we basically is one of the last grapes that we pick. I have paired this lively, aromatic, plummy, earthy wine with a very simple mushroom and cheese dish. Uh, you can use creminis, little bellas, shiitakes, uh, a little thyme, and a nice melting cheese like Fontina. Here I have got some Toma from Point Reyes or Mato's uh, St. George cheese. Very simple dish, very earthy to balance with the earthiness of the wine. And you can purchase this wine at our tasting room, located at 5700 River Road. Um, we also have Pinot Noir, Zinfandel, other varietals as well as sparkling wine. And we've got a beautiful deck overlooking the Russian River Valley. So it's Thursdays to Sunday from 11 to 4 by appointment. You're welcome to bring a picnic. We look forward to seeing you soon. Cheers. Thank you. Okay, well that was a lot of wineries, but that was fun. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you poured yourself some wine and I hope that you, you know, check out some of the wineries that you met for the first time today. Thanks for joining us.